Hey y'all and welcome to our channel. We are on our little slice of life here in beautiful Germany. Yes, it is a gorgeous day. It is a gorgeous day. Temperature's quite cool. And we're just wrapping up a staycation. Yeah. And yeah. So we got a little bit done here on the homestead and uh, we're gonna bring that to you. So that's coming up. All right, y'all. So, yeah, we're wrapping up a week that uh, we took we took a couple days off in conjunction with the holiday, so that we could have a week off and a week that started out quite productive. Um, well, it was still productive, but we got rained out. Too it days. went productive in another direction. So, as you saw in the first installment that we posted up at the beginning of the week. Um, we got out and we got on the excavator and we got stumps out of the ground and trees planted. We, we planted trees and stuff like that. So what, uh, what went down the rest of the week is I had to drive up north to look at a car. Yeah. So you guys don't know, um, I usually drive um, cars that I work on and, and that, you know, I acquire with, you know, with problems and people are selling it because, oh, it's got this or it's got that. And I usually fix it and, and that's the car I'll drive for a while. Well, I had to get rid of two cars. Yeah. So first I had a little Hyundai, a nice little commuter car. And, you know, I ended up with a, an engine code and a blinking engine light to find out that it's missing on all cylinders. So more than likely it jumped time. And because I had such little money into the car, it wasn't worth fixing. So that and it was a disposable engine. It so, I mean, we paid so, so, so little for the car. It wasn't, it wasn't worth the, uh, the effort to try and get her fixed. So I junked that car. And then I was driving a, a little uh, 120D BMW that I had to rebuild the front end on because uh, the previous owner... Um, hit like, a wild pig. I, I, I think he hit a guardrail. I'm not even sure what he hit. But it needed all like the control arms and tie rod end and front bumper and all that. So, you know, it was another cheap car that I put money into um, and drove it for a while. Well... That one didn't last either. So I was getting ready to do the two-year inspection because here we do it every two years. And I had little things that I had to fix and I crawled underneath the car. And yeah, the uh, rear cross, cross member that uh, basically has the control arms for the rear wheels and, and all that. Well, it was Swiss cheese and there was no, I mean, it could have been fixed. But man, it, it would have been it would have been a lot of money to fix that, and not a lot of money, but it would have been it would have been what we'll say between fifteen hundred and two thousand. And he didn't pay that for the car. And it would have taken so much time because you have to pull that off and you got to switch stuff over. So, long story short, I ended up junking that car too. So we've had um, we've been limited to what we've had to drive, and then of course we had an issue with with the Ranger and then we were down to one car and yeah, it was, it was difficult. So anyway, long story short, we ended up driving up North to look at a, at a car and, um, we ended up, uh, taking, what was that? Tuesday? I think it was yeah. mm -hmm. Tuesday. We drove up, looked at the car. Um, that ate up most of the day because yeah, we didn't get home till seven at night. Yeah. We drove up, we drove up, um, in the afternoon, I had uh, some, some stuff to take care of um, in town, and then we left town and drove up north, and, you know, we looked at the car and ended up doing, you know, wheeling and dealing and talking with the, with the because I bought it from a dealer, from the, the dealer, and, you know, sealed the deal. And so Wednesday, and... It rained. Wednesday it rained, 
and I tried getting paperwork squared away on the on on the new car because we're overseas and you know we're Americans and it, it we got to jump through a little bit of hoops to to get a to get a car um, you know registered and take care of paperwork and all that through the through the air base that that we're stationed on and yeah so the first day was a wash because the paperwork wasn't correct so then I had to go and have the dealer get me the correct paperwork and a lot of this is for the for the bank because I ended up spending a little more than I wanted to on a car but you know yeah he got a car he's been wanting to get for a couple years now so in the long run it's okay eh, it's know. only a three-year-old car still has a five-year manufacturer warranty on it well it still has it has two years warranty uh on the actual car and then it's got uh, an additional five years from now on the battery and the motors. The motors, yeah. Because, yes, I did buy an EV. Yeah, he bought himself an EV, finally. Um, because we have solar, um, some of it directly above my head here, as you can see, right there. Um, and it's going to be his commuter car, so, you know, it's two spang dollar and home, and it's, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, so we, we drive uh, about... 40 kilometers round trip every day to the air base that we that is it, we are. Is it that far? Yeah. It's 40 round trip. It's 20, 20 kilometers in, 20 kilometers home. Okay. So uh, that's roughly, what is that? Uh, 3, 6, 12, 24 miles-ish daily. Um. And that's public math, so I could be wrong. <laughs> but anyway. So anyway, uh, needless to say, that, that ate up to Wednesday, Thursday. Everything's squared away with the car. Uh, car's paid for. It's, you know, I'm waiting for them to tell me that it's all detailed and ready to be picked up. And then guess what? We lose another day. Yeah, but, but that'll be a work day. That'll, so. be, that'll be a work day, and I'll have to take off from work to, yeah. to drive up and pick up the car. Because it's a little more than an hour up north. Yeah. So anyway... Uh, all this was to tell you, yeah, so we got a lot of work done Monday. We got tied up Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, Thursday we got started late. Thursday we got a late start, but we got some stuff done. Um, I got uh, a little more firewood taken care of. And then Rachel learned how to use the mulcher on the tractor. So while well, she knows how to drive the tractor around, um, she really didn't have any experience with operating the PTO and, and the three point and all that. So got her squared away. Uh, she learned, she learned how to actuate the three point up and down, how to engage the PTO, what the engine speed needed to be for the PTO, all that stuff. Because, Hey, I just learned it myself too. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a farmer. Uh, well I am now, <laughs> but so she learned how to, how to use the three point and, uh, the PTO and so she clipped the field, our hay field. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, some aerial footage of her clipping the um, hay, field. hay field. So, so what we're doing is we're in the process of um, regenerating the hay field so that next year um, it's just the hay grasses, the edible grasses, not any weeds or any brambles or anything like that. And um, part of that is we had a lot of clover that was in blossom. So we, um, we cut it so that that clover seed would fall back in and reseed. And then here in about a month, about a month, we will lime it for, you know, organic lime. And that will eliminate the seeds. But then it will also help the, the, the orchard grass and the, the red clover and the white clover. And that makes uh, more palatable Hey. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to make yeah. sure that we have high quality hay. So anyway, as I was about to say, and, and before she went uh, down the rabbit hole, here's some footage of the air, the aerial footage of her clip in the field. All right, y'all. It is another day out here. It's another day of our staycation ish. Basically, we took some uh, vacation time and we're burning it, doing doing stuff here. So. Rachel's coming around with the tractor. Um, it is her first time running the mulcher on the back of the tractor. Um, we have a hammer mulcher. So let me flip you around. 
here she comes so you'll see we have some ballast in the bucket because the uh, the mulcher is very heavy the mulcher is about 500 pounds or so maybe even more All right, folks, she's off and running, so it's her first time driving the mulcher. Hopefully, it all goes well. So we're going to clip the whole field, and it's better for the field. We'll come back and do this again in like two weeks. Um, and it's more for the health of the field and the health of the, you know, the, the, the nutrients and the hay and all that. So well, we're going to return some of this nitrogen and some of this uh, material back to the, to the earth uh, between now and our first cut next year. Just overall, it's better for the field. Um, the field is looking really good. We have a lot of clover and stuff like that, but there are some weeds. And this clipping is going to do away with a lot of those leaves, or the weeds. So, yeah. It's our first time cutting. Hopefully, uh, yeah. All right, I gotta get out front. I gotta get on this uh, excavator and get these pipes exposed in the front. So off we go. All right, y'all, so we are in the excavator. We're letting her warm up a little bit. And we're gonna go dig some stuff up. Yeah, let's do it.
All right, y'all, so I went about as far as I want to go with the machine because I started hitting sand from when we worked on the pipes the last time. So let me flip you around. So you can see a little bit of sand right there and over there. But we have to make a drain as well from up there down around here. So, yeah. You can see right there, that's where the pipe comes out, the new one. That's a manhole cover. And then we have to put a drain right there. So the drain has to go from here down that trench. The rest is manual labor, so I got to go get some tools. And start working on getting this uh, somewhat dug out. <laughs> Rachel's still going on the on the mulcher. She's got quite a bit done. She's doing pretty good. Uh, it's been an hour and change um, that I was out front on the excavator. I think I started around 5, now it's 6.15. But she's been going for longer. So she, uh, she clipped the field down and uh, it, turned out, it turned out nice. Uh, the mulcher does, does like a really good job. It's almost like as good as a finish cut. I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I mean. It's a big old golf course. So if you look, it's all clipped and it's all looking good. And yeah, you can see there's the, because it's a mulcher and we didn't pick up the grass, the grass is still laying down there. Um, but it chewed it up really fine. And that'll return a lot of nutrients down to that soil. With the plan of improving the hay. So, you know, we should be there, right? Um, as she was saying, she's going to go ahead and um, lime the field. But what we're also going to do is we're going to clip it one or two more times. And one of the things we're actually going to do is we're going to try to frost seed and hope that we can get a little bit better of a, of a stock in there. So, so that was all the, the stuff that I got done out front. Um, and we got the clipping on the field done. And then we had a wedding to go to. Yeah. So that, that pretty much wrapped up our week. Um, I did get my first about five pounds of tomatoes picked and frozen because that's not enough to make sauce. I've got to wait for the rest of them to come in. So the Romas are now coming in. Yeah. So um, they're looking good. Uh, she did start carrots in the greenhouse. Yeah, and they're, they're about an inch tall now. So we will have winter carrots. Yep. And I did start um, hydroponic strawberries. Um, 15 strawberry plants are doing really well. So I'm looking forward to doing that over the winter. And then what else? So that that pretty much wrap, wraps up this week. Um, Two so, tractor parades. Yeah. No, well, and, so we had the wedding, and that was you know, she had she drove the tractors for the wedding parade from the church up to down to the the venue for the reception um, because it was a fellow farmer here um, that got married. So it was good, good times. Yeah, it's um, a really nice. I wedding. did get uh, two loads of earth onto the property. I know I talked about that on the other. I believe I talked about that on the other um, installment um, to build up the the banking around. Well, this is going to be his dr new driveway down into the field. So right now so. we drive around the ha around the front of the house and down into the fields because. There's no real way to access it from the openings of yeah. the barn side because... It's really steep. It's really steep. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm making a ramp um, down to the field. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So there's that pile of dirt. That's the start of it. And it goes quite a ways because it's two trailers. So that's going to be our access for the field when it's done. And it'll allow me to drive the tractor from where the tractor's stored right here, right down into the field. And you can see pennies back there. 
She's checking out all the grass. Come on, Penny. And as we were talking about, she's got the carrot started, and I'll give you a shot through the glass here. I still have to thin them, of course. So you course. can see there's the carrots. Mm -hmm. And as you heard, she was saying she needs to thin them down. And she'll thin them down. And there's garlic in that bed. She started garlic in this in this raised bed here. And, and then my... these are doing really well, the strawberries. She has strawberries here, and they're actually floating in um uh fertilized water mm -hmm. and it's being aerated to stir the water up so she's going to work on growing hydroponically and wow it is warm in here it's nice compared in here. to outside it's very nice in here so this this greenhouse is really warm but that was that was the way we wrapped up our week off um we didn't get as much done as we wanted to get done but we got a lot done um, we're still going to have to get the excavator again. Um, we're going to have to move loads of dirt for the next yep. week because it might pile it all up into big mountains. I, so what it, so the dirt that we're going to move from the other property, what I did was I made a big pile of it. Um, and this way it's all loose and I can pick it up with the front loader on the tractor and just yeah. put it in the trailer. Mm -hmm. So that'll, we'll get that done and we'll get more dirt here and I'll get my ramp finished. That, that'll be one of the first things I do because that's going to enable us to actually, when we're bringing in topsoil, I can come in on that side of the property, drive down and around and dump the topsoil down where we want to put it so that I can use the tractor to push it up and stuff like that. And then I can drive back out up the up the ramp we install. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's gonna be practical. Um, it's li the little things. But we're gonna uh, not knock the stepladder over. Tried to kill himself. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do some editing and get this up. Uh, if you haven't, please subscribe. And for all of you that are already subscribed, we really thank you. Um, we love each and every one of you. Corey, I hear you're doing really good. Keep up the good work. Yep. Uh, we hope everything is good for everybody out there. We love each and every one of you. And you know my motto. If you're thinking about family, if you're thinking about friends, give them the WhatsApp or the WhatsApp. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next installment, Auf Wiedersehen. Cheers.